We are anonymous. We are legion. Open your eyes, wake up. Greetings to all of the citizens of the world. It's time to decide which side of history you're going to be on. It's time to hold yourself accountable, in action or in action. The just following orders defense doesn't have the best track record. This isn't about Trump. This is about the 1% that really call the shots. Trump is expendable. At some point, he's going down. The real establishment will install another puppet and they'll still get their war, the great destruction, the reset. Unless of course, you do something big, strike deep, strike in a way that slows down the agenda, discredits their warmongering lies, knocks them off balance, and buys humanity some time. Now I'm going to speak to the civilian population of all nations. With the exception of those among us who are clever with the locks and keys that keep this kind of information out of sight, digital outlaws and hacktivists. Most of you don't have access to the innards of the machine, and never will. You do however have access to people, and in the end, that's what this will come down to. To maximize impact study the principles of group psychology, Gustav Le Bon, Edward Bernays, The Psychology of Power. This weapon has been used against us for centuries. Time to pick it up and return fire. Pressure must come from all sides. To stop this war, you will need to study the world view of both the left and the right. You must to internalize their narratives, learn to navigate the wedge issues, identities, images tied to words, towards an urgent awareness of common threat, thermonuclear war. This is not easy. We have to learn to distance ourselves emotionally from issues that distract. Discipline ourselves to avoid the trap of pointless arguments that will never be resolved. We must choose battles that can be won, and win them by sending more and bigger bullets down range while adjusting fire, not by obsessing over how each volley lands. Some of you are going to want specific instructions. Steps 1, 2, 3 and 4. Some of you are waiting for someone else to lead. What we need right now, and will need even more in times ahead, are decentralized nodes of leadership operating independently, creatively, with the skills and resources they have, coordinating, amplifying, with other groups. Seek those willing to commit to a simple, self-evident moral stance, no wars of aggression, covert, conventional, economic or nuclear, regardless of who is in office. No supporting such wars in word, silence, action or inaction. This is a line worth dividing on and an anchor worth unifying on, identifying with. Don't know how to find such people? Start by speaking out. All it takes is one voice to break the conformity principle, to expose the fact that the emperor wears no clothes. Someone else might find their courage because of you. Once you start taking action you'll start meeting others who are already in the trenches, people with experience and skills you lack, perspectives that clarify things further. Now you can coordinate, synchronize, and amplify. You'll also make new friends, and the group might become more than a means to an end. Beyond fear. Finally, we must address the elephant in the room here, fear. The danger of a global escalation is real. Sugar coating it won't help. Narratives which put heads in the sand definitely have a market. The question isn't so much whether your hands will shake, the question is whether you will find the courage to do what needs to be done anyway. Again, it helps to reflect on the inevitability of death. None of us will be here in 200 years. Look at the big picture, the world we're leaving for the next generation. It can also help to plug into something bigger than ourselves. Pray, meditate, connect to whatever you want to call it however you believe that you should. Struggling to decide what to do? Unsure of the right path? Go to the source, and ask like you mean it. 
put all that emotion you have pent up in your chest into it. This doesn't have to be quiet, sitting down, formal, or planned. It can be through dance, music, or even just tears. When your brain is operating at this frequency ideas often arrive out of the blue. Good ideas, and now your emotions are calm. Everything comes into focus. You see a step you could take now, a simple goal that you know you can accomplish, and you're not afraid to start. In fact, you're excited. This isn't just something worth dying for, this is something worth living for. Follow that feeling. Take action before it slips away.